Hello everybody and welcome back. I am here to talk about one of my favorite subjects that is near and dear to my heart and that is pasta. Mwah. I love pasta so much and I've been very curious about a couple of low carb pasta brands. Um, the first one is called Kaizen and the other one is called Loopy. So these two have very similar similar ingredients but they do have uh, some different nutrition facts that I'm going to go over. So Kaizen is a little bit lower in carbs. For one serving of Kaizen it's only six grams of net carbs. With Loopy, one serving is 17 grams of net carbs. Now they both have these little charts on the back that sort of explain or show you the differences between uh, traditional pasta, their pasta, and then also chickpea pasta, like Banza, which I also have, and I love Banza. Um, so Kaizen shows on their chart chickpea pasta being 21 grams of net carbs. Uh, this one is, in fact, 30 grams. Uh, traditional pasta 39 grams of net carbs and then like I said Kaizen is 6. Loopy also shows 27 grams of net carbs for chickpea pasta and 39 for traditional pasta and then 17 grams um, for Loopy. So one of the huge benefits about having a pasta like this is the increase in protein which we all know is more satiating. So Kaizen has 20 grams of protein per serving. Loopy has 14 grams per serving uh, compared to chickpea pasta, which has 12, and traditional, which still has some at 7 grams of pasta, uh, per serving. So I would be very, very shocked, just based on the nutrition facts, if the Kaizen ends up tasting better than the Loopy. So the Loopy's um, uh, nutritional content is much closer to uh, traditional pasta than Kaizen is. But um, I'll be very happy if it does taste better because it's almost double the protein and almost half the carbs of Loopy. So these were both roughly the same amount of money. I think I paid $10 per box. So very, very expensive for pasta. Um, they both have, as far as the ingredients go, the Kaizen is Lupini flour. That's the first ingredient. Fava bean protein tapioca starch and xanthan gum. I see xanthan gum in a lot of low carb keto uh, products. So the difference between the Kaizen and the Loopy is, okay, so the ingredients on the Loopy is sweet lupini flour. I have no idea if that's the same or different than just regular lupini flour, um, but I'll find out. The second ingredient is chickpea flour. So remember, Kaizen's second ingredient was fava bean protein. Then tapioca, same as Kaizen, and then xanthan gum, same as Kaizen. So it's interesting that this one is so much higher in carbs than this one, but clearly the chickpea flour makes a huge difference. So anyway, I am going to cook these according to the packaging. And then I'm going to taste each one with nothing on it. And then I'm going to add a little bit of butter, a little salt and pepper. I don't want to add one of like my delicious sauces because I just feel like the sauce will cover up the true flavor of the noodle. I want to actually taste exactly what it tastes like before smothering it in some delicious sauce because um, I, I mean, when a sauce is really, really good, you can make anything taste pretty good. So I will also report back on how each one cooks individually, which one takes longer or if one of them has a lot of foam and you have to rinse it off, which is what you do have to do with bonza. You do have to, when you cook this, you have to rinse it off. It creates this weird starchy foam that you have to get rid of. Otherwise it tastes kind of a little bitter, I would say. Um, so I will cook each one and then I will come back to you with the taste test. Okay, you guys, this is the Kaizen. It is going into the boiling water first in its own pot because according to the box, it cooks, uh, it needs a cook time of five to eight minutes depending on taste. 
So I have the clock set. And in a minute here, into this boiling water, I am going to put the loopy. And it's both salted water. I would never boil pasta without salt and water, regardless of what the packaging says. But the packaging does say to salt the water. So I will be back. So I'm not gonna know if it affects taste yet, but as you can see, the loopy is way foamier. The water looks more starchy. With the Kaizen, the water looks more clear. But just a quick, quick update. It's almost done boiling. I just wanted to show you what it looked like while it was boiling. So there is two minutes left on each. Okay, you guys, here are the results of the cooked pasta. That's what it looks like, and I'm going to try it right now. Okay, you guys, we are back. I am about to try the loopy. It's a penne. Now remember, this one is the one that's more similar to traditional pasta than its counterpart, the Kaizen. So there's nothing on it. Um, so I cooked this for one minute less than the max. Cooked to desired firmness, about four to six minutes, stirring frequently. I cooked it for five minutes. And it's still actually a little hard. I think it could have used that extra minute. Flavor's fine. It's pretty chewy, but I'd rather have it a little bit more chewy than it just kind of falling apart in my mouth. But it's pretty chewy. It's got almost that kind of, you know, when you chew a hard candy and it gets kind of stuck to your teeth. The flavor is, it's fine. It's a little cardboard like. Um, however, if you've never had a lupini bean, I highly recommend you trying them because for me at least, they're, they're not my favorite. Lupini beans are kind of hard um, and they have a very specific taste and it's very hard to describe other than it's a little cardboard like with a maybe a, just a touch of bitterness to it. Um, so the second one, I'm gonna try this one really quickly after that just so it's like fresh in my head. This is the Kaizen. So, first of all, this one was cooked also a minute less than the max, which was eight minutes. So this one was cooked for seven minutes. The loopy was cooked for five minutes. And I'm actually blown away because I could have sworn when reading off the nutrition facts to you, remember the Kaizen is way lower on carbs, almost, almost double the protein. So I could have sworn this would, this was going to be the one that I didn't really care for. This one is way, first of all, it's way more neutral in flavor. The, this to me tastes more like a lupini bean. And actually, if you've had bonza before or chickpea pasta, it, it's like a hybrid between a lupini bean and a very chickpea pasta flavor. Whereas this one to me tastes more like a brown rice pasta um, with a bit more texture to it. So brown rice pasta, if you haven't had it before, if you don't watch it, it can turn into like a gummy disintegrated mess. Like even if you cook it one minute over the time that you're supposed to, like you cannot take your eyes off of brown rice pasta. So again, I'll try it again with, um, with the loopy. So now I'm thinking they're a little closer in taste, but the loopy is definitely stronger. Like if you serve it to someone, they're gonna know that there's something up with that pasta. It's not real pasta. This one, the Kaizen is way more neutral in flavor. Um, this one needed more time. Um, and I don't even know if one more minute would have done it. The center kind of reminds me a little bit of just undercooked pasta, a little, a little too al dente for me. 
whereas the Kaizen is perfectly uh, al dente, if not just absolutely perfect. Um, I like this one better. We're gonna come back. I'm gonna put the sauce on it and we're gonna try it with the sauce. Okay, guys, I'm back. Um, so as far as, I love my cabinet doors open, I always do that. Um, it's fine. As far as what I put onto the noodles, some grass-fed butter, um, same amount for each plate, grass-fed butter, some cracked black pepper, and some kosher salt. So just a little bit of flavor, um, just to mask maybe, or see if it masks some of the kind of off kind of flavor of the, uh, of the noodles. So let's try the loopy again. I'm gonna get a couple in my mouth here. <laughs> it's amazing what a little salt, pepper, and butter will do. So now that I'm having now that I'm having this with some flavoring on it, I do actually like. Let me swallow here. I do actually like the tougher texture of this one, but maybe for a different application. So I feel like with this pasta, the loopy. Keep in mind this is one that's a little higher carb. I feel like this would make an excellent baked mac and cheese because it wouldn't be mush. Um, and I like a little bit of texture in a baked mac and cheese. You don't want it to be too like blah, like just falling apart in your mouth. Much better, much, much better with some flavoring. It kind of, even just that little bit of seasoning on there really, really masks that heavy kind of um, garbanzo or chickpea flavor um, and lupini flavor as well. So I'll try the Kaizen Kavatapi. So that one was a penne, this is a Kavatapi. This one's really good. The flavor on this, I don't think you could fool somebody. I really do. I think you could trick someone into thinking that this was just regular pasta, it's crazy. Um, Texture is perfect, literally just a tiny bit of flavor, like traditional pasta has. Um, maybe not, you know, maybe white pasta or some pure semolina pasta versus whole wheat. Whole wheat has a lot more flavor. But in comparison to just a regular semolina, durham wheat, traditional pasta, this one is almost dead on. Like they really, really, really nailed it. Um, but I love now I'm liking the flavor of the loopy with the seasoning on it. So I'll wrap it up like this. In conclusion, depending on what you're making with the pasta, I would recommend this Kaizen Kavatapi for if you're just doing a simple homemade marinara or vodka sauce um, and then go for the loopy. If you want to do um, like a baked, um, uh, a baked mac and cheese or um, they do have uh, other noodles. You could do a baked rigatoni dish um, or just regular rigatoni. Um, oh, what am I thinking of? Baked CD, yes. So this would be excellent for baked CD or baked mac and cheese. I think I prefer this one for that due to the texture. And then the Kaizen for a simple sauce. A little pesto, marinara, you get the drift. So that's it, that's my review. Um, hopefully I, explained uh, each pasta to the best of my ability. Um, sometimes it's hard to describe a, a taste or a flavor, especially if I don't know what you guys have had before, but um, hopefully with my comparisons to the lupini bean and the chickpea pasta and the brown rice pasta, it kind of gives you more of an idea of uh, where to spend your money because these pastas are not cheap. I mean, I cooked, you saw how big, um, I showed you how big just one serving was. These each come with four. I mean, 10 bucks for a box of pasta is, is a lot. So, um, you know, unless you can afford it or you're really only having it every once in a while, um, then I would say, you know, it's worth it for every once in a while. Um, but anyway, that is my review. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if I can review anything else. I, I typically eat very low carb um, and I'll also eat uh, pretty high protein as well. It's just kind of the diet that has worked for me for the longest amount of time. Um, it's really helped keep me satiated and not feeling like I'm missing out on things. And it, it keeps me from preventing 
thinking about food constantly in the bad way. I love food and I don't mind thinking about it, but I don't want to be hungry. I don't like being hungry. Um, and um, I like feeling like I'm, you know, being conscientious, conscientious of what I'm putting into my body. And this type of stuff every once in a while kind of makes me feel more balanced. So anyway, that's that. I really appreciate you joining me. If you haven't already, please subscribe. I've been filming at least a video per week. Um, maybe other week, every other week, but I'm going to post a video every week and it's going to be a mixture of DIY and recipes. So hopefully you will follow along and give this video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Thank you guys. Have a great day. Bye.